And then for callers that are still left on the board, we will continue with them. In fact, let's go to them right now in the order that they were received. Robin in Oklahoma, thanks for calling. Alex, I remember several years ago, there was a gentleman called into the Rush Limbaugh show. He said he could, he could literally, on a computer and a spreadsheet, see where America's decline started financially, spiritually, and anything you can name. It was 1973, and we all know what happened in 1973. We, we went off the gold standard. Own. No, man, no. We started killing our unborn babies. Oh, absolutely. That, too. That's even more important. You're right. Roe v. Wade. Not get a, we don't get away with it, uh, Alex. We're not going to get away with this. We're just not. We're. I mean, this is reaping and sowing. The whole world has reaped bloodthirsty Edomite behavior. The whole world has reaped bloodthirsty Edomite behavior, and we are reaping what we have sown right now, and it is going to get worse. Mm. Side of a miracle? I don't think we can get out of this. We can talk political. We can talk war. We can talk, you know, victory gardens and greenhouses and cows and all that. We are we are absolutely reaping what we sown. No, I right totally now. agree with you. I don't know how I saw the point you were making i was thinking about economy today but you're right that's when we started the murder of 60 plus million babies and saying they're not humans and now we say men are women and all the rest of it and you go look at leftists i don't feel good at how trashy and dumb they are it makes me feel bad that that, that, that they fall into such a level they are literally confused lost demonic hateful crazy people and they're everywhere now everywhere all across the country and the world and they are literally spiritless. They have like a, the, 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 no human spirit or God's spirit isn't in them. They are completely drugged out and lost. And they are just rejoicing. They want nuclear war and death. And they want to bring it down on us uh, because they've given up their life force. They are basically living dead. That's right. They're, they're bloodthirsty Edomites, Alex. You're right. They've been given over to a spirit of strong delusion. Yes, sir. Thanks, Alex. Thank you so much. She made a really great point. Thanks. Hey, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor this due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rukakadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings be to the hopeful elect. And it was in the gospel of God, lifting up the standard of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, real quick, man. This man is done, okay? This Edomite is finished, it's done. The truth is out. The cat is out the bag. Now judgment can proceed forth. And I understand now why Revelation 12 and 12 is a must for these devils. Okay, because this lady bought it out on the InfoWars channel by the guy of Alex Jones. Okay, he had a platform a couple years ago on YouTube, but allegedly he was disbanded because of the information he was bringing out. Allegedly he was a threat to the new world, whatever they want to call it. But in fact, we believe Alex Jones is set up. But regardless, he brings out good information. But what was so significant about the video is the fact that this Edomite woman called in and stated that we're reaping Edomite behavior. OK, and she appeared to be an Edomite woman and she's basically exposing herself and our people without trying to expose herself because she didn't necessarily come out. And if you brothers call it, she didn't come out and say necessarily, well, I am an Edomite because that's the subtlety of the devil. See, the devil likes to admit without admitting, but she said we're reaping Edomite behavior. So my thing is, how are you going to reap? How are you going to reap something or sow something that you how would you reap something you didn't sow? You see, that's just like if I plant a garden or if I didn't plant a garden, I have no reason to take credit for what somebody else has did. Or I don't have a right to go down for somebody else's crime if I didn't commit it. OK, so if I committed a crime or in my paternal line and lineage or whatever you want to call it then it makes sense as to why i would reap the bad fruit of that so she was basically telling you in a roundabout way look we're the edomites and we're done okay there's no uh, uh no type of reformation there's no type of political aspect that can get us out of this there's no type of uh greenhouse effect there's no type of economy no digital dollar anything that's going to cause this american government and economy to rebound and they're done Okay, and these Edomites, they know they're finished because um, when I was at work yesterday, we was uh, having the, uh, what they call, we have safety meetings every Wednesday. Okay, they do like remotely on the screen. And um, I kind of heard one of the guys, because um, it was kind of faint, but I heard one of the directors basically say, well, you know, gas prices are going higher. Uh, we don't, you know, this may affect sales or whatever it may be. 
okay because this is a private owned company okay they have roughly 120 employees not bad for a privately owned business that's a private what do you call the private sector okay so they were doing pretty good okay but uh hey <laughs> if this continues to go and happen the way that it's happening these gas prices continue which biden said is a very possibility that they may happen then you can expect these businesses these jobs these corporations to start shutting down okay and hey shit the most high is getting ready to judge you devils okay you are at the end of your robe you've reigned you've oppressed the children of israel you've oppressed the world you've oppressed the earth man you know we was doing some uh toe pulling in the woods yesterday toe pulling goes into topographical surveys and stuff like that land surveying right so we was in the woods and i was looking at the trees the trees are just literally dead man i mean to the point that when a tree is dead and there's no light in it it just topples over and it just disintegrates and every other tree in the damn woods we was in it was pretty much just dead no limb no root it was all brittle okay i mean it was just completely destroyed to the root and back in my mind i'm like these devils really destroyed up the earth man okay and i mean this is just america it's gonna get hit with missiles anyway but just think about every other place that esau is spreading his poison and his venom among. okay but nonetheless this is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful topic. Esau knows who he is. Okay. Even down from the common cracker, they are beginning to realize that they are the biblical Edomites and that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has nothing good for that particular group of people or that particular nation. Okay. Your future is ultimately destruction, slavery, then the ultimate destruction. Okay. You're going to be destroyed. You're getting ready to reap all the bad blood you've sown in the earth. Mainly from what you've done to the Negro, Latino, and Native American. And it's about damn time. Okay? I don't give a damn if an Edom might give you a job. I don't care if he's preferably a, a so-called friend, a co-worker. I don't give a damn if the nigga buy you Friday night brew. I don't give a damn. At the end of the day, he's still an Edomite. He's a devil and a most high is going to judge him. And in this spirit, they don't like you. They don't like Jake. Okay? They tolerate us. They don't like us. They, they just tolerate us. They can't stand the sight of us, man. OK, they can't stand the sight of us. They can't stand our hair. They can't stand the way we look. They hate our athleticism. They hate our drive. They hate everything about us because ultimately they're not us. See, people think that Esau hates us because it's a color thing. OK, that's very minuscule. The hatred between us and them goes back into the birthright. It's spiritual. And even a common six pack Joe don't even understand that. He thinks he's hate you because you have so-called nappy hair you have melanated skin. You have uh, broader muscle density. You have bigger rods. No, 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 man. Okay, it's deeper than that. It's based on a birthright. So all this wickedness they've sown in the earth was to really get their birthright back. This is the reason why this uh, uh, elites or the elites, the Rothschilds, are doing what they can do to, to start this great reset. Because they feel like, well, look, if we do away with the Negro, Latino, and Native American and we get them to destroy themselves, we can somehow trick the most high and uh, he would give us our birthright back. When they found out that's not the case, they were like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to take my birthright back. We're just going to kill these niggas to spite the most high. And we're going to set up a destroyed world, man. A so-called utopia. So basically Esau is forging his, his kingdom of heaven on the planet Earth. And it's not looking too good, man. Okay? It's not looking good at all. All right? So anyway, a couple of precepts here. Not meant to be a long lesson, but their tongues are fleeing upon themselves. So this is the book of Psalm 64 and 5. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter and they commune of laying snares privately. And they say, who shall see them? OK, the traps that they've laid, this whole thing with Russia and Ukraine. OK, that's a privately laid, a privately laid snare. OK, because they got the American people believing that this was all Russia's fault. When in fact, this was a ploy that was orchestrated through the left, man. OK, because now since Biden is not dealing with Russia, OK, which Russia is the third uh, biggest buyer of oil in the in the world. Uh, basically, America like, well, we're putting our companies, Coca-Cola, Starbucks, Pepsi, McDonald's. Like who the hell wants that in their country anyway? It's poison. But regardless of that, since he's pulled the plug on those corporations in Russia, that's causing economic damage to America. And who's suffering from it? The people. OK, because it's. Damn near three inches, four inches of snow outside. But yet you people got to <laughs> travel to work for five dollar gas prices just to make ends meet. 
Okay, so that's a, 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 a snare privately. It says, and they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, and both the inward thoughts of every one of them in the heart is deep. Okay. Uh, but suddenly the Most High should shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they should be wounded. So should they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that seed them shall flee away, okay? And that's basically she exposed our own kind, okay? Like the scriptures say that his counsel should cast them down headlong, roughly paraphrasing it. But it says, uh, reading again, they should make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. So let's go back to the video real quick and hear what she said. callers that are still left on the board we will continue with them in fact let's go to them right now in the order that they were received robin in oklahoma thanks for calling alex i remember several years ago there was a gentleman called into the rush limbaugh show he said he could he could literally on a computer and a spreadsheet see where america's decline started financially spiritually and anything you can name it was 1973, and we all know what happened in 1973. We, we went off the gold standard. And, and it was not 73. It was actually between 69 and 70 when they uh, allegedly went to the moon, okay, when they set up the International Space Station, which they never made it to the moon, by the way. But when they claimed that, when they started setting them satellites in outer space, uh, uh, that's when the Mossad started bringing them down because the Mossad like, okay, now you get beside yourself. You going, you're trying to go outside of domain. You're trying to reach the ends of heaven. Nah, bruh. And ultimately, that's when the prophets came on the scene by the name of Elder Abba Bivens, man. Okay, which was Elijah in the reincarnation. We believe that through faith. Okay, which was also John the Baptist. Because if you know the scriptures, you'll understand that Elijah is to come with John the Baptist. Okay, to restore the hearts or the father or the hearts into the children. Okay, and restore the hearts to the fathers. All right. Why we have the understanding of this truth. And in modern day, the man by Abba Bivens came uh, teaching on the streets this gospel, this this doctrine, man. OK, breaking down who so-called white man was, etc. And it led on down to high priest R.E.I. on down to the apostles. And then you have us. OK, so that's that prophecy. So that's when this man started to go down. OK, and he's going down quick. Like how wish I said, he said, I behold, and I saw Satan fall from heaven as lightning. OK, and the lightning strike is swift. One day you're going to wake up and all hell going to break loose. And then, hey, soon thereafter, the missiles are going to be coming, brothers. All right. Jacob's trouble is not going to be no long, drawn out process. It can't be because it's going to get too bad out here. OK, that's why the scriptures say for the elect's sake, those days are sh will be cut short. OK, because Jacob's trouble may start. And I don't know how long we're going to go through Jacob's trouble, but I damn sure can guarantee you it won't be no years. OK, because I mean, the most high. I mean, he can have it go years, but I don't see Jacob's trouble being that long, man. Okay, Jacob's trouble, uh, like I said, we can't put any time frame on it, but it's not going to be a long, drawn-out process. I can't say it's going to be a week. I can't say it's going to be a month. I can't say it's going to be two months. It may be shorter than that, maybe longer. Who knows? But regardless, when this ordeal hits the fan and when shit starts to break loose and all hell breaks loose on Earth, mainly in America, and uh, you know what, the MOTB is the primary... Uh, currency and that is being forced upon people just know that the missiles are on the way because the lord said when you see these things begin to look up because your redemption drop nigh all right so keep that in mind brothers when this happens hey we almost out of here all right but first the motb prophecy has to come to pass when that come to pass then that's when we can rejoice more and more for now hey we still in hey we still a home stretch so let's, let's keep a positive mind, all right? But this is the point I wanted you to hear. No, man, no. We started killing our unborn babies. Oh, absolutely. That, too. That's even more important. You're right. Roe we, do Wade. Not get a, we don't get away with it, uh, Alex. We're not going to get away with this. We're just not. We're. I mean, this is reaping and sowing. The whole world has reaped bloodthirsty Edomite behavior. Ooh. The whole world has reaped bloodthirsty Edomite behavior bloodthirsty edomite behavior man all right so reading again it says so they should make their own tongue to fall upon themselves and all that see them shall flee away <laughs> right because you got men that's exposing the uh, illuminati like a guy by the name of john ty he started off with exposing the elites okay allegedly i don't know what happened to him allegedly they killed him but regardless of it man when people realizing that they're edomites etc then they ain't gonna want to have nothing to do with it 
they're going to try to disassociate themselves from these government establishments, man. You know, those that worked in the Council of Foreign Relations, the CFR, which is one of the main Illuminati branches of America. OK, uh, the Trilateral Commission, the Bilderberg Foundation, all these devils, they know. But a lot of them are going to try to turn their backs and be like, nah, we don't want to deal with this. You're trying to enslave and you know what people. Now nah, we ain't with it. But the most I don't care because he's still going to get your ass, man. OK, because you were your father's coming back. All right. So let's go from here to the book of Psalms. Uh, 58 and two, it says, "Yea, it says in your heart, ye work wickedness and ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Right. Who's committing atrocities in the earth? Esau. All right. It says in the wicked are estranged from the wound and the wicked is the so-called white man. It says from the wound and they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Right. OK, because, hey, she tried to lie away out of it. If you paid attention, she said, we're reaping eating my behavior. No, you're reaping the behavior you sold in the earth. Don't try to put your wickedness off on somebody. OK, just because you're not at the head of corporations and you may be a red blooded American, you red blooded Americans ain't so fucking loving the Negroes either, man. Because if you call a Negro out in a rural area, OK, or out there in the sticks, you will cook them alive. So you have just 